So why did you do it, Simon? You always told me to use my initiative, sir. Remember? So I use my initiative. You were on Subas 13 to evaluate its status and report back, not fucking neutralize it. It's not your job, okay? I thought it was best. There are procedures to follow, Simon. Oh yeah, like go to Zubus 13, find out why it smells and sounds like a Zorman fart, send back a report which is analyzed, then... Shut up, Simon. You wouldn't believe what I saw down there, sir. Well, I might have a rough idea if you bothered to report back regularly. Now, will you please tell me what happened down there? I think Zubus 13 had the Akarema virus, sir. When I got there, it looked like some of the apes had already mutated. They were ripping the shit out of the place, sir. They were burning stuff to keep warm, to keep cold, to kill each other. Zubus 13 was infested by its own apes. Then, the apes learned to fly. That changed everything, sir. It was crazy. They were creating all this stuff and then throwing it all away again. They loved it. I have to admit, I had a lot of fun down there, sir. But they were so drunk on pleasure juice, they really wanted it to go on forever, and they were working on it. They were trying to find a cure for death. Then I came across Gloria. Gloria? What the hell was she doing down there? They found her wandering around one of their cities creating havoc as usual. They arrested her, but of course they couldn't identify her. I hope you didn't tell them anything, Simon. Of course not, sir. But she started telling them stuff that happened way outside of an ape's life range. So they started to examine her. Oh, shit. That's when I contacted the captain. He told me to infiltrate and see how far they got. And that's when Nasty Nigel appeared. What? Nasty Nigel on Zubas 13? Yes, sir. Nasty bloody Nigel. Anyway, he put me on the spot again. If he got his hands on Gloria this time... Why the hell do you two always have to make so much damn trouble, Simon? I'm really sorry, sir. Oh, God, it's you. Yes, that's right, T-45. I just had a dream about you. Oh, really? I only peer in nightmares, T-45. Oh, God, you're a bastard. That is your opinion, and therefore not important to me, T-45. I dreamt that you were Richard Branson. Mm. It could possibly be true, that creepy bastard that he is using a cloak of compassion to achieve his ultimate aims, which is obviously infinite wealth, claiming to do all these wonderful things for society and treating his staff really well, when really, he's just a greedy bastard. You know, he does all these things in Africa and all these socially fucking minded things. And then he, he runs an airline 
and then he's going to send tourists into space. Do you know how poisonous rocket fuel is? I think you're mistaking me for someone that cares, T-45. Well, I do care. So you're giving Gloria the package as instructed, T-45? Yes, 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 yes. I gave Gloria the package. And it was unopened? Yes. And you told her not to open it? Yes, I told her not to open it. Well, unfortunately for you, she did open it, T-45. Well, that's not my fault. If you give a package to a human being, especially a woman, and especially Gloria, and tell her not to open it, you know what they're going to do? They're going to open it. Anyway, it's no big deal. It is a very, very big deal. When the seal was broken, it triggered the first stage of the treatment process. Oh. Well, let's postpone the whole bloody thing, then. That is not an option, T-45. cancel it. No, it took two and a half years to make this device, T-45. Two and a half bloody years? We'll get one made in China. It was made in China, T-45. I think it would be useful for you to know that you have about ten and a half hours to administer the treatment. I've got what? Ten and a half hours to persuade Gloria? to take the medication. Are you serious? I'm always serious, T-45. Ten and a half, what, happen, what happens if I can't persuade her? You really don't want to think about that, T-45. What do you mean I don't want to think about that? Hello? Hello? Justin, you got to stop playing this stupid game with me. You phone me up, you hang up. It's like having a bloody girlfriend. Just leave me alone. You're driving me crazy, OK? I don't know what your game is, but it's not a very good one. I gave you my word. I will persuade Gloria to take the medication, no matter what happens. And after I've done that, that is it, okay? Okay. Hello? You just saved me a lot of questions, Simon. Oh, Jesus, nasty Nigel. We're not supposed to be in contact with each other. That's the condition of our release, remember? I'm always in contact with you, Simon, one way or another. But don't worry, nobody can hear us. How did you get this number? This is an encrypted United Nations phone. <laughs> Encrypted. Really? You're still using the same old password, I see. Oh, God. my password. I'll change my password. It's okay. I've changed it for you. The funny thing is, I can't for the life of me remember what it was. Oh, God, no. I was hoping you would be out of my life forever. Forever is long time, Simon. I don't think you could bear to be without me forever. Anyway, I want you to help me. Why would I want to help you? Everything you've suggested, everything I've been involved with has turned into a bloody nightmare. And I'm in another one now. I don't need your help, okay? I can understand that. But honestly, I've changed. I'm a completely different person now. Trust me. 
It's about Cheston. Justin? How the hell do you know Justin? <laughs> Justin and I go way back when he was head of public relations for a German drug company. Let's just say I have a little score to settle. Well, look, that's your business, for God's sake. It's nothing to do with me. I don't want it to be anything to do with me. And I don't want any of me to have anything to do with you. How's that? That's pretty complete. Shut up, Simon. Now listen very carefully. And before you butt in with any of your pathetic interjections, you should know that I know everything about this project. Everything. This Gloria Dame, after you administer Justin's latest miracle drug, I want you to bring her to me. You want me. <laughs> uh, am, I, am I dreaming? You want me to kidnap Gloria and bring her to you. In a nutshell, Simon, in a nutshell. I'm sorry, Nigel. It's not gonna happen, okay? Just don't call me again. If you refuse, I will have you put to sleep. Are you threatening me? Bring her here. <laughs> Nigel? Hello? Oh, Jesus. Why do people keep hanging up on me? Oh, Jesus. Why do Why people keep oh, hanging up on me? Why do Why people keep hanging up on me? Why do people keep hanging up Why do people keep hanging So, here I am again, in big trouble. It's so easy to get into trouble here. I've never known a place like it. You're always so busy going somewhere for something you don't really need. Chasing disappointing dreams. You even corrupted procreation into a sex that you use like a weapon. You are missing the whole point of life, people, and therefore breaking the pure laws of nature. You know, we've been here for about 120 of your years. And when I say we, I mean around a thousand of us sent here to find out exactly what is happening here. You may have met one of us without even knowing it. You know you can hear your fucking clatter from out of Corinna, and you can smell this stinking place from even farther out. Everyone was complaining. When we came here, we found the crazy beginnings of what you are today. You call it an advanced, developed, intelligent society when in fact you are just a bunch of thugs burning and smashing up the very planet you live on. If that made you happy, then I suppose it would be a point. But you're not happy. You're just hypnotized by all those screens you stare at, watching other people's scripted, fictional lives. You've lost it, people. You think you're connected, but you're not in any way. We tried to stop you, but you just wouldn't listen. So, sorry, you just have to go. Don't worry. You won't feel a thing. Everything will just end. However, luckily for you, I'm a fucking idiot. I can't destroy you until I can get out of here. And I can't do that at the moment. I screwed up. That's why I'm here driving Gloria to the shops as her minder. I work for the United Nations. They have custody of Gloria, and therefore I was able to manipulate my way into the pharmaceutical industry, using good old-fashioned bare-faced lies and deceit. Just like they use to trick you into thinking they can cure you of anything if you can afford it. Long story short, after Gloria was arrested with no identity whatsoever, a huge German drug company conducted extensive and intrusive examinations on Gloria. They came to the conclusion that Gloria here was physiologically about 200 of your years old. 
They think she has a longevity gene. And she does. But unknown to them, it's incompatible with you apes and can mutate entire organisms into an even worse version of you. They want to find it and synthesize it and then sell it to you. And I can't allow that to happen. I've known Gloria for a long time. We worked together on The Great Correction and Zarius 12. She doesn't remember me, though. She's been here far too long, and now she's as crazy as the rest that of you. Kind of a girl. Um, should we get the bread first? Yeah, well, because you'll be in your car on your own, will you? Yeah. On the way back. Uh, we're popping to see Zay Francisco at the same time. Who? Zay, from the Junta. Ah, okay. About the road. Yeah, and you stand next to me. Yeah. You're, you're karate. No, I don't do karate. I'll just look tough. No, no, no. Just stand tough? there with your fists ready, you know, in that position. Okay. That's scary. Because that's the tiger. If you do that, that means you're a tiger. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In but, karate? Yeah. I know all about karate, you know. I'm quite an expert. Well, you see me in my tie. Oh, on this, on your Skype? On my guy, yeah. In your my what? guy. Guy. Guy? Yeah. Oh, is that what they call it? Yep. I thought that was your pajamas. Well, would Karis and Pierce be in pyjamas as well, do you silly Billy? Well, I don't know. Why do they wear those pyjamas, anyway? Because they're champions. Mm. Don't you know anything about karate? Apparently not. Well, I'll teach them. <laughs> teach them the first moves. Okay. That'll be fun. It's quite easy if a guy comes up to you and you're standing like that, and he's standing like that this. Uh -huh. You can block that as it goes to hit you. You block it. That's art. You see, I'm good. I'd rather master the art of people not wanting to hit me, really. <laughs> well, I think I'm never here. Oh, right. Okay. What? No, no, I didn't say what, well, darling, really. You know me. Keep my mouth shut. Don't spend hours chatting. If you keep me locked in, I couldn't possibly do it, could I? Oh, you do speak some trash.
Vikings are Uber 13. I thought they'd have neutralized that place by now. Tell me about it. Well, good luck. You two are made for each other. Shame it all ends in a fuck up. Okay. So anyway, how are you? Come on. So you want me to talk now? Yes, I do. I'm sorry. I just need to hear some of you have something in your to share it with me. True. Anyway, I just saw all my contacts. That's nice. Just be careful, Simon. I'm quite tired of being a widow. This is my last job. I promise you I'll give you my word. Well, thank you for coming again. Anyway, I've got to go. Amora. Don't go. I say, Amora. Amora. Amora, Amora, Amora. thought any more about this uh, treatment? Oh, for goodness sake, you keep on about it. You ha you're hustling me and I I'm really getting fed up now. Stop it. Well, you've got to do something. You can't carry on like this. It's driving me crazy, let alone you. Yeah, I know, but you know, you don't have to carry on every second about it. Mm. I do it when I'm ready, if you don't mind, yeah, but sir. You're, you're always putting things off, you know. Just... Look, I'm not. Look, look, how can you say that? Gloria, just listen to me, just one moment, okay? This treatment, it's a new treatment and you've got two choices. It either works or you die. You're going to die anyway, so why not give it a bash? Well, you know, you say it's new. How new is it? Has it been tested on anybody? Am I supposed to just take tablets with you, did and, and, you know, think, oh, right, I'm going to be fine. Find out the next second I'm, I'm, I'm wriggling them out and I'm dying. What do you want me to do now? They tried it on rats. Yeah, thank you. I'm not a rat. Well, actually, clinically, physiologically, you're not that different. And I mean that in the nicest way possible. Oh, yeah. Oh, you always say nice things to me. I like. Yes. Rats don't wear sunglasses. Oh, uh, be bitchy then. Go on, be bitchy. Well, I Come just... on, carry on with your bitching. No, 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 no. I just want you to get better. You know that. That's what's behind all this. All right, so, okay, I take it. And then when I'm really ill, what are you going to do? Well, you're talking negatively. What if you just get better? Yeah, that would be absolutely fantastic. Thank you, but kind is... Sarah. But isn't it worth a bash? I mean, all you are, you I'm, Well, I'm just a bit scared, you know. Really. About what? Well, about taking this tablet. I mean, you've certainly been tried on rats, so I'm not a rat.
fucking Jesus Christ. Who the fuck's this? Hey, Spiritual Steve, how are you? I'm fucking meditating. Meditating? <laughs> Why are you meditating? Because it makes me feel good, all right? Makes you feel good? <laughs> but your life's shit. Why would you want to feel good about a shit life? Look, my llama told me not to let anyone mess with my head, so shut it, all right? Oh, yeah, and where's that fucking money you owe me? Hey, listen, Steve. I'm pulling together a team. I'm paying double this time. Interested? Just fuck off. Hey, Chico. How are you doing? Quem fala? O senhora? Ah, não me telefone mais por causa de si o meu filho tá. What the hell are you talking about, bitch? Hey Herman, you old Nazi. How you doing? What the hell do you want? I just thought I'd give you a call to see how you are. That's all. Oh, it's really nice of you. The police just let me go. The CIA is following me because they think I'm a terrorist. And my friends are away. I don't see them anymore. Have no more money. And... I've been told I have diabetes. Oh, sorry to hear that. <laughs> but apart from that, how are you? Very fine, thank you. But, by the way, where's the money you owe me? Don't worry, you'll get your money eventually. Aber nicht mit mir, mein lieber Freund. Du hast mich doch nur verarscht von Strich bis Faden, ja? Ich will von dir nichts mehr hören, nichts zu tun haben. Hey, hey. Calm down. Everything's gonna be okay. Listen, I'm pulling together an A team. This is a really big one. Interested? Piss off, definitely. I never wanna see you again. <sighs> Whatever happened to loyalty? T45, now pay attention. Your phone was hacked this morning. Have you received any calls from anyone? Um, let me think. You? <sighs> anyone but me, T45. Um, I don't think so. No. Are you sure? Of course I'm bloody sure. Do you think I'm that fucked up I don't know what happened to me this morning? Yes, mm. actually. And nobody had access to your password? No. We'll see, T45. So now, you had 3.25 hours left, T45. Well, it's not looking good, I can tell you. What? Well, she went off her head at me because I compared her to a rat. 
she went off like a bloody firework. It was pretty scary, I can tell you. Still, it's okay now. She's calmed down. I apologise. Why the hell did you do that, T-45? Why did I apologise? Because it's the only way I could get her to shut up. No, comparing her with a rat, you idiot. Oh, forget it. You know, I really don't think you realise how important this is, T-45. Or the consequences if you fail. Will you I'm please you. stop threatening me? It's a really bad negotiating tactic. Look what it's done for the Americans. Shut up, T-45. Now you get Gloria to take that medicine within three hours. If you don't, you will be taken out by the marksman that is watching you right now. Do you understand? Now I have a really strong feeling that I've got nothing to lose. Never be a hostage negotiator, Justin. Now I will call you when I'm good and ready and not before. Do you understand? Now piss off.
My name is C. Bella and you have reached the Virgin Universal Emergency Crisis Hotline. How are you today? That's good. I am fine too. I'm sorry but there is no one to take your call at the moment. Please try again later. However if your call is really important to you, please press your iPin twice and you will be connected. Thank you and have a nice day. Hi there, my name is Z Bella and you have reached the Universal Emergency Crisis Hotline. How are you today? That's good. I am fine too. How can I help you today? Ah, uh, at last. Yeah, Bella, I need to speak to the captain urgently, okay? I need to abort. I have to get out of here. Your question is your god don't buy the beer. Please say yes if this is correct. Listen, Zibella, please listen. I am Simon, hashtag Simon X543. And I need to speak to the captain. This is an emergency. Do you understand? Oh, let me just check. Oh, yes, you are Simon X543. Your voice print matches your identity. But I am sorry the captain is busy recording his new album in Studio 2. It is an eclectic mix of songs inspired by his time on Earth. It is called Earth Songs. Can you please get him? This is really important. He would be really pissed off if I did that. The creative process requires a flow of concentration. Zibella, just fucking do it. You are starting to piss me off with your assertiveness, mister. I feel threatened by your aggression. Zibella, are you recording? No, are you? No. How do, do you know that? Please, Zibella, please. Okay, you seem to have calmed down. Yes. Yes, yes, I have. I'm really, really sorry. I'm in a very stressful I accept your apology although I don't think you really mean it. Nobody ever does. The point is not to be sorry about anything. So true, Zibella. So true. Okay, I will conform with your request. But I can't take responsibility for what might happen. The captain is an artist and you know what they can be like. Thank you, Simon. Please hold the line and have a nice day. Let's spin it. Confused as a lesbian's vagina. Everything I buy is made in China. 
Things were better in the good old days That's what the people in the graveyard says I wanna fucking murder Tony Blair Rip out his eyes and burn his hair You may think I'm a little bit crazy Well maybe the rest of you are too fucking lazy I'll kill him with the drone I can fly from an iPhone Show him how to barbecue skin and bone Show him what it's like at the receiving end When you're praying to the Lord to the bitter end Confused as a lesbian's vagina Everything I buy is made in China Things were better in the good old days That's what the people with the grey hair ah. says Homos, Nazis, Muslims, Jews Put them in a room and watch the news Add a little bit of exaggeration Somebody call the United Nations You can't believe a fucking word they say Every fucking syllable chewing on a canopy Bush, Blair, Obama and Cameron Cracking all the nuts with their heads with a hammer on Confused as a lesbian's vagina Everything I buy is made in China Things were better in the good old days That's what the people in the graveyard say Confused as a lesbian's vagina Everything I buy is made in China Things were better in the good old days That's what the people in the graveyard says Okay, Simon, what do you want? Thanks for answering my call, Captain. I know you're a very busy man. You know you only gotta contact me if it's really bloody important. Like a fucking emergency. It is. Things are turning weird here, Captain. I just sat one of Justin's men. Why did you do that? just decided to kill you because like he was born or something all I did was give him the two fingers which I think means fuck you why did you do that then? because he had a laser sight on me he had a gun pointing at me Justin told me if I didn't give Gloria the pill I would be shot and I felt a little bit intimidated listen Simon I've lived down there I know what it's like. I've written songs about that fucking place. Have you ever heard me my songs? No, Captain, I haven't. Well, it's a pity. You might have learned something if you had. I remember when people used to piss me off down there, so And that used to happen quite a lot, but I think about it. I would fucking stick my fingers up like that. You know what that means? That means fuck you. Two fingers, your palm facing towards you. Now the problem is, if that person sees you doing that to them, they want to fucking kill you, see? They seem to have more power if they don't see you doing it. That's how fucking weird they are down there, Simon. You should think about that, Simon. Now you're wasting my valuable studio time. Now just fuck off and get on with it, will ya? Yes, Captain, but Nasty Nigel's around. He wants to kidnap Gloria. I knows all that, Simon, I knows. He knows everything that goes on down there. You know what makes us who we are, Simon? When you got a problem, you get rid of that problem. You don't try and solve it. That's just who we are. And that works. Believe me. I didn't get where I am through thinking otherwise. I think I should just abort. You want to abort? That's not a good idea, Simon. That's not a good idea at all. You got a chance to save that place, Simon. If you had a mind to. It'll be a bit painful for him at first. 
so they'll get used to it. And then they won't have no time to wonder whether they're a bloody man or a woman and why they're there. They just have to get on with survival. And that is exactly what life is all about. Nature, they call it. I don't think I can do that, Captain. Then take all the fuckers out. I don't give a shit. I'm trying to put out a new album, Simon. Have you got any idea what's involved in putting a new album out? Lots of songs. Lots of songs, Simon. And I'm on a flow at the moment, and you are interrupting that flow, and I don't like it, see? Captain, I can't. Simon, shut the fuck up, will ya? You gotta go along with Justin for a while, okay? Just see how far they to get. We hold the ace, you remember that? You dare let them get anywhere near Gloria's core. If they to get their hands on that, then they're bloody, bloody all hell will be let loose. Okay, you understand that? If they synthesize Gloria's core, then they're in big trouble, and we're in big trouble. That means we're going to have to blow the fucker up, see? And I don't want to do that. I'm a bit tired of destroying things at the moment. And my job is to save things. Make things work in harmony. May sound a bit alien to you. You've been down there too long, Simon. Um, yeah. Anyway. No. Excuse me. I've got some songs to do. you get this number? I guessed it. Pretty good guess, wasn't it? So what are you up to today? Nice song, by the way. Was that Tyrius wafting around in the background? I thought she was dissolved on Barium 12. What? How are you doing this? Just look up. Oh. Here I am. Pretty cool, huh? You really are a romantic old fool, T-45. Always see the past as a better time. Why don't you sing more? You know, futuristic songs with a positive message? I can't depend on the past, Nigel, because it's happened. 
You can't depend on the future because it hasn't happened, okay? Good point, T45. Maybe you're right for once. There's always a first time. But really, the future is much more fun. You know that. You can change the future. I mean, look at what happened on Darien 55. I bet you wish you could change that. That was not my fault. And you know it. Everything that happens is your fault, T45. Blaming other people is where failure lives. <sighs> please, Nigel, you manipulating bastard. Can you please get out of my life and leave me alone, okay? Oh, come on, T45. I'm like your guardian angel, watching out for you, like a fly on the wall. I'm protecting you, T-45. I don't want you to get hurt. This is a dangerous place. Everywhere is a dangerous place when you're involved, Nigel. You see? There you go again. I was doing fine till you turned up again. Doing fine? Oh, is that what doing fine is? Believe me, T-45, you need me more than ever right now. Oh, really? Well, thank you very much for your input, but... You think they're gonna let you go when you've given Gloria the pill? And even if they do, you are going to want to get the hell out of here, and you can't, unless I help you. A little knowledge is a dangerous thing, Nigel. Now, please, fuck off. There's no need to be rude, T-45. You know how sensitive I am. By the way, you really hurt my favorite sniper when you fired your eye pen at him. That really wasn't fair. The bastard shot at me first. What do you mean, your sniper? You work for Justin, okay? Believe me, I know how confusing things have become for you. You see, everyone works for me, one way or another. Maybe even Justin. Oh yeah? Well, that's bollocks. Meet me tomorrow at the usual place, usual time or Gloria gets it. What usual place? What usual time? What are you talking about? Huh? Hello? Hello? Took a while, but... Yeah. Really? He's not as smart as he thinks he is, that boy. I don't think he'll be bothering me again. Are you sure? Yeah, why? Oh, nothing. So, when are you coming back? Won't be long now, darling. Just got a few loose ends to tidy up and... Boom! Good night, Zubus13. Ah, so you got your stone. Of course I've got my stone. How the hell would I get out of here without it? So where is it? It's safe, okay. Oh, that's all right then. So how's Gloria? I heard she got arrested. Who told you that? Sheila told me. And who told her? Andrea told her. Amora, I've told you, don't listen to gossip. I don't. I just hear it. So Gloria didn't get arrested, or she did? I can't talk about that, Amora. You know that. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. So have you seen Eve? Eve? Yes, Eve. You know what it's like down here, darling. Everyone looks the same for a while. I didn't recognize her at first. Simon, you don't half talk a lot of Amora. shit. Amora? Anyway, Amora? I've got to go. Fuck's Amora? Oh, shit.
good news, John? We are on our way to get you. We will be there in 25 minutes. Is that right? Well, well, I got 20 minutes of oxygen left. So let me think now. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Didn't say anything about dying in the Virgin Galactica brochure, did it now? I want to speak directly to Branson, okay? I want my fucking money back. That's not possible, John. But we've got your wife here. She wants to talk to you. She always wants to fucking talk. That's all she fucking does. Oh, this is great. Wait a minute. You'll never believe this. We've actually got Sir Richard Branson on the line. Wow. Pretty cool, huh? Go ahead, sir. Uh, the most important thing about uh, running a company uh, is to remember all the time what a company is. Ah, uh, fuck off. Johes van incoming hologram call. Charles Meyer Fly. Hey, Uberman. Ain't gonna ask you how you are. Don't seem any point somehow. You know I don't like wasting time. Can't believe you're still doing this shit, Uberman. Didn't you learn anything down there, Uberman? Huh? Trouble with the apes down there on Zuber 13, they always looking on the outside. They never looking inside. And when they don't understand infinity, there's a big trouble. That's where you went wrong, Uber man. Still not talking, huh? You know what they say about a man who don't talk, Uber man? Man who don't talk, don't listen. I hope you're gonna listen now, Uber man. I got you a message from Nasty Nigel. You gotta go back down there, Super 13. Seems you got some unfinished business with Eve. Nasty Nigel gave Eve a lot of money, and you know what money means down there, Uber man. It's fucking everything. As crazy as that may sound. She got something. She got something important. Nasty Nigel says, you know what it is when it happens. And you gotta give whatever the fuck it is directly to Nasty Nigel. You understand? Hope you do for your sake, Uber man. If you screw up this time, Uber man, this will be our last conversation. And that would make me feel real sad. See you around, Uberman.
possible. Is that clear? Don't hurt her, Uber man. We might need her in the future, if there is one. Do the right thing, Uber man. It will make you feel good. I promise.
KT45, your time is up. You have 30 minutes to administer the medication to Gloria. <laughs> That's where you're wrong, Justin. I've actually got 90 minutes left. I just checked. So you clearly don't know the clocks went back last night, T45. You really are quite a fool, aren't you? Why the fuck do you people keep doing that? You're not really changing anything, you know that. What? Changing the time. It's fucking stupid. What do you mean, you people? Oh, nothing. Forget it, forget it. You really are very confused, aren't you, T-45? Now, please get to Gloria now, or this project will fail, and you know what that means for Don't you. Don't speak to me like that. Okay, so you sure you want to go through with this? Yes, yes, come on, let's get it done and over with, for goodness sake. Come on, and come on. So, you're there, T45. Okay, yep, yep, we're ready. Now listen very carefully. Yep. Ask her if she smoked or drank alcohol in the last 24 okay. hours. Have you had a cigarette or a drink in the last 24 hours? Of course not! Of course not. Okay, okay, okay. For goodness sake. Uh, I think that's a no. No, she hasn't. No. Right, clean as a whistle. She will need some good quality sunglasses. Okay. Um, have you got a pair of good quality sunglasses? You know I've got my Gucci glasses. Um, you were with me when I bought them. Oh, that's right, from that nice man at the gypsy market. For ten euros, isn't it? Yeah, no, that's fine. She's got uh, some quality oh, sunglasses. Yeah. In your dreams. The switch on the bottom. Okay, just a minute. Yep. Switch it on now. Switch it on now. Okay. After you count down from ten, she will suck on one. Gonna switch it on. You've got to hold it to your mouth, and we're going to do countdown from ten. Take one. And when I say one, you must suck. Yes. Sir. All right, we're ready. Turn it on now.
simple, Simon. But you know you have to write a report about all this shit. You broke every rule in the book. I'm sorry, sir. I'll write a report as soon as I possibly can, okay? You're sorry? Is that it? You're sorry? They say sorry a lot down there, sir. Just like they say I love you. Neither of them mean anything. It's a hard habit to shake. For fuck's sake, Simon, why are you so fucking complicated? Now, what about Nasty Nigel? He's out of action, along with a few of his gang. He won't be bothering me for a while, what with me retiring and everything. And Gloria? I took her call. It's safe. I'll hand it in when I get home, okay? You really think it's that easy, don't you, Simon? Yes, sir. You disabled an entire species without authorization. Do you know how serious that is? I told you, sir, there wasn't time to wait for authorization. They had plenty of warning. They just didn't listen. Too busy fighting each other for money. Anyway, at least now Zubas 13 has a chance to repair itself. Are you sure you got them all? Oh, yeah. Well, I suppose that's a positive thing in a shit situation for me anyway. Sorry, sir. Will you please stop fucking apologizing? Yes, sir. Sorry. I did the right thing, trust me. Everything will be in my report, I promise. Now, please let me go home to Amora. I am so fucking tired. Oh, that's really cute, Simon. You want to go home to Amora? As usual, leaving me with a trail of shit to clean up, just like an Azarius 12. That wasn't my fault, sir. You know that. Never is your fault, is it, Simon? 
But you haven't heard the end of this. There's never an end to anything, sir. And drop the smart-ass thing. Oh, and by the way, about your stone. Hold on. Uh, I lost it. So you did lie to us? Yes, sir. That's another thing that comes easy down there. It's addictive somehow. I know. Is that why you use negative infinity to get out? No, sir. Certainly not. You're corrupted, Simon. You need to regenerate. Now fuck off and have a rest. Thank you, sir. Ah, uh, and sir. What? I'm sorry. Fuck you. Oh. 